Hi, we're from Northern Ireland, and this is the SMM Minute. Hi, this is Emily from SportMartialArts.com, bringing you the SportMartialArts.com Minute for Saturday, November 9th, 2019. Stay up to date on Sport Karate results, events, and be entertained with this 5-10 to 10 minute show that brings you all the Sport Karate stories and news you need to know. I have a recap from the exciting WKC World Championship Finals that happened last night. Special thanks to the team from Northern Ireland who did the intro today. Make sure to like, share, and comment on this episode and help me share the sport. The clock is ticking, so let's get started. I got back from the WKC World Championships this morning and all I could do was sleep for a while. I was pretty tuckered out, but the show must go on. I'm dedicated to bringing you daily minute shows and here's one reason why. I found this cool post from Steph Gilbert talking about yesterday's show and how it inspired her to get back to training and competing. That is what I love to hear and exactly why I'm putting in the effort to bring you this show. If something that SMA has done has inspired you to train, compete, reach out to a friend or get motivated, please let us know because it really motivates us and keeps the SMA team excited to bring you sport karate. So, last night, Mary and I set up and tested from about 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. to get ready for the WKC Finals, and this is what our setup looks like. We grabbed Carry out and got ready for the Finals. And we had some help from Akil and Alana, shown here. These two were awesome and naturals with the cameras, thanks to both of them. Because of their assistance, I was able to produce a minute show during the Finals, and Mallory is able to work on the production of the Finals broadcast. We tried something new and broadcast to both YouTube and Facebook, and it worked. Let's give some birthday shoutouts and then head into the finals recap. Happy birthday to Regis Lima, Vicky Ron, Scott Verpilotti, Tracy Fisher, Tyler Schaub, Sergio Zuniga, Juan Morales, Michael Busby, jo and Jovito Anga. Happy birthday, all of you. I hope you have a fantastic day. Now, the finals started with overalls and forms and weapons. Angeline Karen Seho of Seha of California was the women's open forms and weapons champion. Congratulations to her. And Julian Shimon of Canada was the men's traditional forms and weapons overall winner. The WKC has offered 18 to 21 open weight divisions, and the final fights were on stage. Isabella Del Rio Piveral was the champion for the women. Suba Sharitha took the women's traditional forms and weapons title. She's won this title consistently for the past few years. And a happy Brad Hurley was the men's open forms and weapons champion for the night. WKC President John Dubers was super happy with the success of his Team Canada competitors, and he sent out a social media shout out for it. In the men's open weight competition, it was Christian Rivas of Venezuela, of Venezuela for the win. And you can see how excited Team Venezuela was to get this win. Morgan Plowden was unstoppable at the event. She took the women's overall sparring title. Here's a slow-mo class for her with her fadeaway back fist. If you're watching one of my earlier shows, Tyreek Saint taught you how to do that. And here's Morgan getting her award. And her brother Richard Avery Plowden was the men's overall sparring champion. He was back-to-back -back with overall wins after just coming from the Diamond Nationals last weekend and winning overall grands there. And here are the Plowden kids looking cute as ever with all of their medals. But Morgan went on to also help Team USA take the women's team sparring title over Team Canada. And the event that everyone was waiting for was the men's team sparring competition. It was Team USA versus Team Canada. It started with Team Canada winning the first round and then Team USA winning the second. The third round ended in a tie with a requirement to win the best of five match matches. If there was a tie in matches, the win would be determined by overall points. So going into round four, everything was tied. Matches and points. And then Team Canada won round four. So it came down to the final match. Team USA needed to win and needed to score enough points to end with more points overall. Team Canada just needed to win, and the task fell on the shoulders of Canada's Robbie Lavoie, a true Canadian hero. And he did it. 
In a close match, Robbie Lavoie brought home the Team Sparring Champion title and brought the Canadians in the audience to their feet. It was a really exciting finals and the atmosphere was electrifying. Congratulations to Team Canada for their win. So after the finals was over, we hauled the equipment back to the hotel and then found ourselves catching a lift to the airport at 5 a.m. this morning. What an amazing time we had at the WKC World Championships, and we can't wait for the 2020 event in Madrid, Spain. Remember that we're working on the green screen photos we took at the event. We'll post those in the community group first. Watch for action shots and videos from the WKC Worlds and Diamond Nationals soon. Make sure you like, share, and comment on this episode and help me share the wonderful sport. Time is up. Thanks for joining me today on episode 78. See you next time on the sportmartialarts.com Minute.